In this section, we're going to go over how to treat a bounce check in QuickBooks. Let's just say a client, for whatever reason, has bounced a check or put a stop payment on a check that you have deposited, and basically it has bounced and you have that money being taken out of your bank account that you have recorded in the bank account. Well, how do you record that bounce check? Well, we're going to assume that for whatever reason the client just did not have enough funds in the bank or they put a stop payment for some type of reason but they are going to pay again and this is what you can do and how you can treat a bounce check. Let's just say the money has been taken out of your bank account you have to record that and this is a way to do it you can create a bill by going to customers and create invoices and you're going to create an invoice for the client that bounced their check in this case it's going to be Blake's Flakes and what we're going to do is we're going to use an item code we created under the type other charge and classified named as bounce check bounce check linked to the bank account that would have the money being taken out. So we're going to create an item for the bounce check with the account as the bank account. So we're going to make a invoice for the client that did the bounce check and we're going to use our item code and we're going to enter the amount of the bounce check. In this case it's going to be for twenty thousand dollars. So we're going to create this invoice for the client that bounced the check for the amount of the bounce check and we're going to simply select save and close. Now if we run our general ledger we could see that money being taken out of our bank account as it shows on our bank statement and we have a receivable for the twenty thousand dollars. Now when they reissue that check all you have to do is click on that invoice that we have created and select receive payment and then enter the appropriate check information. And you could write something in the memo reissue of check 109 that bounce and we have it pay down that invoice we just created with the bounce check item. Now once again after we deposit the check you'll see the money going into the bank and the reduction of the receivable. So this is one way to handle a balance check in QuickBooks.